Disclaimer, I am not a lawyer. District 9 is a Wignet Pictures film and belongs to Sony Pictures, TriStar, and their respected owners. This video is in accordance to the copyright law and follows the five points of the fair use clause in the copyright law. money to keep them here when they could be spending it on other things at least they're keeping them separate from us how do your weapons work we're coming to you from the entrance of district 9 the refugee camp set up to separate aliens from the general population they told me I was gonna get a vest. Don't worry about the vest, it'll be fine. Get the new agents, open the door, please. This is an amazing fight. I haven't seen this type of setup. I don't know, this has got the markings there of... Uh, so it's it's definitely alien, but uh, it's, uh, it's not a weapon. <laughs> Nobody really knew what this place was. It's gonna be clean. Best of all, it's gonna be quiet. There's a lot of secrets in District 9. Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in to this week's movie review of District 9. Holy crap! This film blew me the fuck away and sent my mind so deep into the stratosphere that I literally forgot where I was for the entire duration of the film. As a matter of fact, this film made it hard to keep my mouth closed as my jaw dropped in amazement and stayed like that for the entire film. This is without a shadow of a doubt one of the greatest films ever made, and quite possibly the best sci-fi movie ever made. This is one of those movies that comes around every 10 to 15 years and completely redefines its genre in monolithic proportions. District 9 tells the ingeniously raw and gritty story of an alien race landing on Earth who becomes stuck on the planet due to unknown reasons and their budding interaction between humans that always rise in tension. Now that's just the basic synopsis of the film, and I can go into more detail about it, but it would literally be a crime for me to do that. Why? Because this film is so good that it should be experienced with little to no knowledge about it, and letting the film take you on its ride will be well worth it. On top of that, the film does an excellent job of anticipating the viewer's thoughts. Every single time you think something's about to happen, the movie throws something straight out of left field, completely catching you off guard. The movie is always three steps ahead of the viewers, and it always aims to throw the unexpected, which will work all the time. This is an excellent key component of storytelling, and the movie does a brilliant job of always keeping the viewers on the edge of their seats trying to guess what will happen next. The movie is also an excellent social commentary on many aspects of humanity and its various flawed cultures. It transcends its inspirations by focusing on story, character, and the very human disregard for others until you've walked a mile in their shoes. The message of this movie's tale is amazingly realistic that it can almost make you feel disgusted for society and feel sorrow for what it produces with no remorse for the life of others. Truly, it can tug on your strings 
things to make you feel for it and its characters as well. Speaking of characters, everyone in this movie was on top of their game. Our main character, Wickes, played by Chateau Coplay, does an excellent job with his role that it's almost insane. His performance is crazy because he gave an Oscar-worthy performance and this was his first acting project on the big screen. It was a raw, gritty, realistic, and heartwarming performance by an actor that was giving it his all which made it seem so real that you almost forgot that you were watching a movie. This is supposed to be the goal of movies as they are supposed to illuminate the screen and transcend its viewers to the movie's plane of existence and creative imagination. Coplay plays a pencil-pushing official who showcases a side of the human nature which we do not like to admit to because it's ugly. We quickly grow to not like him by his deeds and actions, only to see him grow into a full and fleshed out third dimensional character. I mean, as a matter of fact, this movie has nothing but full-fledged characters that grow in various ways that by the end of the movie they won't resemble the people that they were playing at the start of the film. This movie also looks so stunning that it's unbelievable. This movie had a budget of 30 million dollars yet it looks like a hundred million dollar movie. The movie's special effects ranging from CGI to makeup are all done extremely well and the environments can invoke an array of feelings. You'll have places that look sickening which will make you question how people even live in such situations because they actually do, to scenes that can disgust and amaze you. Speaking of being disgusting, this movie is not for the faint of heart. The film does not take any liberties and is not aimed to lower itself for anyone or for any reason. It is extremely raw and gritty and will show you the unexpected and do it as well without slowing down. If you don't think the movie will not show something due to its nature, then you better be prepared to be sadly mistaken. I mean, I couldn't even finish eating my popcorn due to many scenes and I've seen a lot of horror movies. District 9 aims to always push forward and regardless of how much gore and horror you've seen in movies, I promise you that you have not seen anything like this in movies, and these disgusting moments are not ones that are made in the traditional Hollywood sense, so prepare to be shocked. The film's pacing is also excellent, as it grabs you from the first 60 seconds and never lets go with no mercy. Dialogue is genius, as no word is ever wasted, and it always speaks volume whether it be about the film's moving story or its social commentary on the ugly side of humanity. I mean, this film is literally more critic proof than the Dark Knight, and it is even void of cliches and stupid moments. The film even manages to evoke a variety of emotions from its viewers, from fear, disgust, anger, excitement, humor, and even sorrow. Truly, this is a boldly imaginative sci-fi movie that was made with a lot of care and intelligence. To miss out on this movie is to simply not like movies, and I can't see how anyone wouldn't enjoy this film, because to not like this movie means that, well, damn it, you have to be clinically insane. But I doubt that that will be the case, as this movie will win you over. There are many secrets in District 9, and everyone should find them out. District 9 gets a jaw-dropping 10 out of 10.